All right, so let's do a quick review of the coordinate system, or also known as the Cartesian coordinate system. Uh, what we want to make sure we remind ourselves of here is, is that uh, a couple things. Um, inside the coordinate system, we have what's called ordered pairs. In our ordered pair, um, we have an X comes first, a Y comes second. I'm going to try to say this, but go ahead and, as needed, hit pause and, and draw this picture and just kind of add things into it. Draw it big enough um, so that way we're going to add in. We have a couple of slides to kind of give you a visual here. We've got a slide where we actually plot some points, and we've got a slide where we're going to talk about the, what the names of the quadrants are. So um, go ahead and, and, and make your, when you draw this first picture right here, draw it pretty large so that way you've got space to kind of add some, some characteristics into it. Okay, so we've got our, our, our rough drawing pretty large. Let's go through and talk about labels and stuff. So on the, the horizontal axis is also known as the x-axis. And remember on the x-axis, um, as we travel out from the origin, so we travel off this way, this would be going towards positive infinity. And over on the left, this would be negative infinity. As we go back to the origin and we travel up, that would take us towards positive infinity on the vertical axis, or also known as the y, and it would take us towards negative infinity on that vertical axis. Right, rolling along, so on that same coordinate plane, so don't you know, don't need to draw another one unless you just want to. Um, let's go through and plot some points. So our first point to plot is going to be six four. So we start at the origin. Remember, this is our x value. This is our y value. So we travel over six. We go up four, keeping in mind, remember, that what we just talked about, that this is positive x's over here, this is negative x's over here, this is positive y's, and negative y's, always starting at the origin. And by the way, you should hit pause at this point and go ahead and uh, try this yourself, and then hit play and check your answer, okay? So same thing here, we got our x, we got our y, we go to the origin. We go negative 6, and we don't go up, and we don't go down, so we have our point right there at negative 6, 0. Next point is negative 3, negative 5. So we go back to the origin, we go negative 3 on the x, negative 5 on the y. And the last point is, uh, remember we got our x first, y second. So we go to 0, 0, we go over 0. So we don't go to the right, we don't go to the left, we stay at 0, and we go up 7. So that's 0, 7. All right, last thing to add in here is talking about quadrants and what, what it means. And so we're going to bring this slide back to this, this guy right here. But um, this is known as or called quadrant 1. In quadrant one, my x's are positive and my y's are positive. Over here, we move over and I'm going to abbreviate quadrant two. In quadrant two, my x's will always be negative and my y's will always be positive. I mean, if you think about that, that makes sense because you travel on the negative x and you go up on the positive y. This is quadrant three. In quadrant three, both my x's and my y's are negative. And then down here is called quadrant four. And in this case here, my x's are positive. Oops. That's okay. My x's are positive, but my y's are negative. So there's a quick review of the coordinate, the Cartesian coordinate plane or, or the coordinate system, however you want to call it. And uh, they kind of help kick off. And you got a few questions on your homework, but you know, we'll be grafting and doing different things. So you want to make sure that you know where these things are.